they win it. Ladies and gentlemen, plan out. Sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui no canal Cachorro 337. Guys, tá rolando Major, Major de CSGO, que pra quem não sabe, Major é o Mundial de CSGO. Sabia não? Acontece duas vezes por ano, o primeiro aconteceu em 2013, em 2020 infelizmente não tivemos Major por conta da pandemia, em 2021 tivemos apenas um. Esse ano, o primeiro Major de 2022 está acontecendo nesse exato momento. Lembrando que final do ano o Major muito provavelmente, assim, mais de 80% de chance já. O segundo Major de 2020 2022 acontecerá aqui no Brasil, Rio de Janeiro. Esse Major que já havia sido confirmado para 2020, né? Mas por conta do coronavírus não aconteceu. É bem provável que volte a acontecer agora, em novembro desse ano. E, guys, nesse vídeo aqui eu estarei mostrando para vocês todos os campeões de Major e o momento da vitória. Ou seja, os segundos finais do último round, a comemoração dos players. É um vídeo insano, é um vídeo nostálgico, é um vídeo que conta um pouco sobre a história do CSGO. Então peço que, por favor, vocês deixem um like caso vocês, né, gostem desse vídeo e se inscreva no canal porque acabamos de bater 700 mil inscritos e falta muito pouco, muito pouco não, né? Faltam 300 mil para batermos a meta de um milhão de inscritos, que é o meu sonho. Eu acho que dá para pegar esse ano. Então se inscreve aí no canal, vem comigo e vamos lá. Todos os campeões de Major da história e o momento da win. CSGO.net Ao depositar, utilize o cupom LORG e ganhe 40% de bônus. Bestskins.com.br O melhor site para você comprar e vender as suas skins de CSGO O Rian tem o um inventário mais caro do Brasil Avalia Primeira campeã de Major, Major Dream Hack Winter 2013. Em 2013, apenas um Major. Os três Majors anuais começaram em 2014. E a Fnatic venceu esse primeiro Major da história do CSGO, um time de Fluxa, JW, em uma final contra a Nip, Ninja em Pijamas. Anotem esse nome, porque vai dar dó ainda nesse vídeo. Fan walking up here, seeing if he can get the kill on Schneider, but gets the return. Now a one for one trade. 55 seconds on the clock for Fnatic to make an opening, and they have all the tools to make it happen. NIP have nearly nothing. Smoke flash coming into the B bomb site, and looks like they are going to make the push. Oh, NIP, are they going to push up behind? Get right is here. There's someone down on Pop Dog, but he's not moving yet, and no kills are happening just now. Freiburg still trying to find another headshot. There's Exist with the kill, but Freiburg goes down, and so does Exist. Three on two. Get right and Forest are left. The bomb goes down. And ladies and gentlemen, this could be the end. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. It's Forest alone in a one on three. I think we just might be ready for it. Forest picks up the one kill, but he has a scout. I mean, it's a one on two. All Snyder and, uh, and JD, all he has to do is just wait and buy time. And there it is. They win it, and look at them, even Khan jumping up, one of the most uh, composed people I think in Counter-Strike. Complete celebration, what a victory, and how they took ESL One Katowice 2014, aquele Major dos adesivos extremamente caros e raros. Virtus Pro, aquela equipe dos jogadores lendários que ficaram juntos por muito, muito tempo. Nel, Pasha Biceps, Snacks, Biali e Taz. Em uma final contra a Nip, os poloneses se sagraram campeões. On his own, but the rest of the players are over at B. And Snacks will be the man that'll lead this push in, and he'll get a headshot on to get right, and they're four frags away from victory now. It's Freiburg still in there though. Freiburg's not gone, and he will show himself at the right moment, which is a headshot on to Biali. He will eventually go down at the hands of Pasha. They're three frags away now. Virtus Pro, as they will move the bomb in, and it'll be Fifth Laren and Exist to come charging in, and Snacks to go throwing them down. It's all on Forrest. He gets the first. He doesn't get the second. That is Pro. Have won. Taz has delivered in front of the home crowd. And then 
MPK, your thoughts on that win? That was... Lip, na terceira tentativa, na terceira final consecutiva de Major, conseguiu o título. Em uma revanche agora contra a Fnatic, o time de Get Right, Forest e outras lendas conquistaram o primeiro Major. Mas, vocês irão ver aí que nos anos seguintes a coisa não foi boa. No final, o balanço não foi positivo. Rounding the minute on the timer here. Yes. Fnatic make their way around. They have one AK and nothing but pistols. What you've witnessed in this tournament is a broken NIP team managing to resurrect themselves and exist. Picks up two kills. Forest with the shot as well. All of Meister goes down. And here it comes. Two on five. JW and Flusher. There is nothing they can do any longer. NIP have won Gamescom 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, 16-13. It finally happens. After nearly a year, after nearly a year, two second place finishes. Nip. Finally claim the title! They are Último Major de 2014, Dreamhack Winter 2014, o time francês da Team LDLC, do Shox, Shox que tá até hoje aí no cenário, Kyoshima, Rap, NBK, enfim, ganharam e a final contra Nip. <risos> Down in the connector, and if he can pick up the first kill here, that will be big. He's waiting on Happy and Forest. He does not come up, but then get right with a quick return. Takes from NIP for them to lose from this situation. This time they're not leaving. They're staying put, NIP. They need the entry, Franks. They're gonna get one, and they keep trading it. Some 2 1 2. Kiyoshima comes out on top. This is now a 1 on 2, unless Get Right can clutch this situation. Trying to walk in. Pacing himself, he's gonna spot MBK first, he goes down, and LDLC, they pick it up, and look at that, they can hardly believe it, they're hugging each other, and it must be an unreal sensation, and the crowd will stand. Mais um ano se passou, chegamos em 2015, final, Nip versus Fnatic, de novo, e a Nip não ganhou. O tempo todo infernizo a minha vida, porra! E agora, a Fnatic tinha em seu time Olof Meister, que se tornou o maior do mundo, né, nesse ano, jogador também lendário. Eu vou voltar para o mid. Eu vou fazer algo assim. Ele puxa vivo, ele se existe, ele vai ter o primeiro frag para Fort Flusher, o segundo de Get Right. E ele olha para o número 3, ele vai deliver com a ajuda de Exist. Por outro lado, eles perderam o Alu nas mãos de JW. Get Right vai para o próximo, mas Olof Meister, com um headshot, pega ele fora. E esse é o momento. Big games require big players as that bomb goes down in an IP attempt. Yet another retake. 2v3. Fnatic, they're getting these bomb hunts in. They just need one more round and they'll be able to do it. All of Meister again hiding in the same spot up by Graveyard and Crims. He's in the side. Oh, there it is. Now it's on. Exist 1v2 here. Fnatic, they could be the second or the first team to win a second championship here in Global Offensive. And Olof Meister's playing it so safely. They know that they have it. Exist gets one and he's back on it. He's got the kid. He's holding it down. I'm not sure there's enough time. Fnatic, they do it. Ladies and gentlemen, your ESL one Cavalita champion, Dark Fnatic. Poxa, mano, que dó da Nip, né, mano? Cinco finais de Major, venceu só um. Aí eu ouço. E esse é o One Colom 2015. Olha aí a Fnatic de novo, agora em uma final contra a Envias. Envias que em grande parte era aquele ex-time da Team DLC, agora com o QNS, perdeu a final pra Fnatic, que na época era disparado o melhor time do CSGO, ninguém batia a Fnatic. Key, but look at the speed coming into it here. Grenade on through and Envy, they're speeding up. JW missing a couple of shots and they get two in return. Pronax in the back lines and they're gonna get that refrax here. Very low on health is happy and they just keep on training it through. They can't stop now. Olaf with the kill as well. It's gonna be Kenny with the refrag. Grenade on in. Happy's on six health. And ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna require a miracle and nothing less for Happy to make it out. I don't think there's any chance. Flusher looking to end this. It's gonna be a third title for Fnatic. They win a third major championship in global offensive. Wow, what a way to finish it. Porém, a Envias deu a volta por cima e na Dreamhack, Cluj na Poca 2015, ganhou em uma final contra o time da Navi. E aqui começou a luta árdua da Navi em busca do Major. Eles chegaram em várias finais e só foram conquistar, vocês saberão quando ainda nesse vídeo. Aqui em 2015, perderam para a Envias e foi um baita spam. Four players remain here for Navi, and they're going to be pressing onto this site. And they, it's an ideal situation for them, but MBK removes Zeus, and it's not looking good. Oh, and 
the second head shot there. Flamey gonna be gone. Hiroshima, and there it is. Super down. Edley winning the last major of 2015 and the second title. Em 2016, a Valve mudou, aumentou a premiação, não era mais 250 mil dólares, colocou a premiação em 1 milhão de dólares, porém não teremos mais 3 Majors no ano, e sim 2. Eu particularmente acho que 2 Majors torna esse campeonato muito mais legal, muito mais disputado, querendo ou não, se torna um pouco mais caro, não tão comum. Em 2016, o primeiro ano, com 2 Majors, 2 vitórias brasileiras, não tem como esquecer, não tem como esquecer. Luminosity Gaming de Fallen, Fer, FNX, Cold e Taco em uma final contra a Navi. Espanco. Espanco. Dois mapas a zero. Segundo mapa, 16 a 2. From scratch. And then within a very, very short amount of time, plays their way into this kind of position. Sees this going to be going down as well. Fer with the follow-up kill. He goes down. Edward takes two. Looking for a third. But he can't reload in time. He's not going to get the kill. Fallen will be going down. And now it is a one on two. Taco looking to see if he can close it out here and win it for the Brazilians. It's going to be a big turnaround there. Hits the headshot on Zeus. And now it's a one on one. Guardian versus Taco. It may just be death. That's a big Essa mesma equipe da Luminosity, esses mesmos jogadores, apenas mudaram de ordem, apenas mudaram de time, da Luminosity para a SK, e a SK, no segundo Major de 2016, chegou na final contra a equipe da Liquid, mais um espanco, dois mapas a zero, e ali começou o domínio brasileiro no CSGO Mundial, porque além desses dois Majors, principalmente no ano de 2017, eles ganharam praticamente tudo. Yet another terrific start here for SK Gaming. He goes on 5 HP, they have the man advantage. They still have all the firepower and follow and they just can't get anything going. An underpass against him, he's always one step ahead. Yet another pick, JDM's been spotted by Fur as well. And Hiko is working his way towards connector. Fur hears those steps. So they have all the information now, SK Gaming, to make the play happen. Three more kills, even with this big of a lead, even with so much going their way, they're still playing it slow. No one is rushing anywhere, no one's leaving anything to chance. JDM going down, Hiko going down, and now Nitro alone, one versus five, with a pistol being flanked as well. SK Gaming, what an incredible team. It's up to Nitro. He does get a shot and picks up an AK, but there's no saving it. He has to go and fight, and they're getting close. Here's the spray coming through. He takes out Fur as well, but he's down to 12 health. And now it's just all in the details. Easy for SK to pick it up here. They're trying to walk through the smoke, but it's just not gonna happen. SK Gaming, second major championship in a row. They are your winners. Em 2017 chegou a Virtus Pro, né? Aquela equipe lendária da Virtus Pro. Mais uma final de Major, porém agora eles bateram de frente com a Astralis, uma equipe que começava a chamar a atenção aí no mundo. E com o Kid Arbai, que foi o MVP daquele Major, conquistou o seu primeiro Major de vários outros depois que a Org viria a conquistar. E seu primeiro título, vamos ver, porque a ação está lá e o Gabriel abre e toma o Bialy já! Aqui é o primeiro start, 4 mais kills e eles vão fazer isso na full distance. Snacks em uma posição de posição, ele vai para o Max 70, ele não pode fazer isso acontecer. Finalmente, Pasha with a refrag, but he's down. The bomb has been picked up by the three. They get the spray. Neo takes one and turns it there. And Astralis, they win the first major championship. 16-14 against Versus Pro. Unbelievable. Esse, pra nós brasileiros, é com certeza o mais triste. O time da SK, que era o melhor time brasileiro, não foi tão bem no Major. Crackle 2017, PGL Crackle 2017. Porém, o time da Immortals, que ralou pra se classificar pro Major, que, mano, teve muita dificuldade em passar daquela primeira fase, conseguiu chegar à final. O time de Lucas, Henrique, né, os gêmeos, Stilega, Boltz e KNG, que tava jogando demais. O KNG estava jogando demais aquele Major. Eles chegaram na final contra a equipe da Gambit. Eles ganharam o primeiro mapa, Spank. Perderam um segundo e na inferno o sonho acabou. They won't waste much time grouping as Steel has the kit. KNG is there. They picked up a Galil to work with. 
5-7 to lead the charge. It's too far away for the shotgun to be helpful. Take it back because he thinks otherwise. They'll go aggressive. No one peeking, so he'll take every inch he can get to make this an instant kill on the shotgun. Crossfire set. He's found! Steel tree for the goes from Orenson! Gambit have done it! Chega 2018, Major e League Boston E aqui, a final mais emocionante da história de todos os Majors A FaZe, que investiu muito dinheiro para montar essa equipe Tinha Nico, Olaf Meister, Kerrigan Guardian e Rain estavam jogando a final contra a equipe da Cloud9, uma org americana com jogadores americanos em solo americano. A torcida gritava muito, isso dava muita emoção nas transmissões. Final, MD3, cada time já havia ganho um mapa e no segundo overtime, a Cloud9 vai lá e conquista o campeonato. Isso, mano, quem assistiu isso daqui sabe. Mesmo nós, brasileiros, que não estávamos ali torcendo para outros brasileiros, nós sabemos o, mano, o quão emocionante foi aquela final. Não tem como. 35 seconds. That smoke could win them the major if he gets it out. But he's holding the angle. He's got the smoke in his hand. And the smoke is down towards B bomb site. The rap has been stopped. There are advantages for Cloud9 now. Five versus four. Three taken down. All smashing on the high ground. Dropping off. They need to hold construction. Are there flashes there? Will they push? It will reingress. Down goes on the Spicer. Guardian and the rain remain. All smashing pushing through. It's Guardian versus two. Can he do it again? He's been in this position before to win phase. A round, a very important, a very crucial one. Can he deny Cloud9? We saw it from this position before. He cannot miss a single shot. Guardian waits patiently as Cloud9 sets the push up. Oh! Oh, it's happened! They made it work! Cloud9 are your E-League Major Champions! Segundo Major de 2015, mais uma final para a Navi, mais uma derrota, Astralis. E aqui começou a era da Astralis, porque depois desse Major, eles ganharam outros dois e se tornaram os maiores campeões da história. Eu já dei spoiler, né? Putz, foi mal pelo spoiler. Mas enfim, agora sem Kitcher Bay e com Magisk, a Astralis conquista seu segundo Major na história. Connects up from the top and the bottom at the same time. That is a really nice way to approach it. Here's a trade there. Look at the flashbang just in case. Running out of bullets with a pre-fire. Look at how efficient this team are. They will give you no edge to capitalize on. Nothing to exploit. They are merciless. It's going to be very little time when they come into this b bombs but there's nobody there to stop the plant, surely. Edwards might make a quick run at this. But if he dies for nothing, it's a two versus four, and he will die for nothing. Glaive makes sure of that. Simple and flamey. That's all that's left between Astralis and the Major. Simple on the high ground with the CZ, and surely he's going to get taken out. Oh, there's a gift. He could pick up an AK. This might not be over yet. There's no kit, though. They've got to go far. Simple the second one. They have to keep going. They've got to charge forward. He misses the jump. Flamey now with the 570. He's baiting. The player on short B is red. Touching the bomb. Are they going to peak? Holding it now, and there is it. It's just down to Flamey. It's not gonna happen. Astralis have won the face at London Major. Katowice, Major 2019, primeiro Major de 2019. Astralis novamente na final, agora contra a Ence. A Ence que surpreendeu, apareceu ali com grandes jogadores. Alexib, que agora tá na G2, estava nesse time da Ence. Mas, guys, juro, naquela época era chato. Astralis ganhava tudo. Todo mundo sabia que a Astralis não, não perderia. Back to back Majors. Surely 2019 can't possibly be as good as 2018, but there's no signs of them slowing down. Not for Dupree either. He'll get two. They walk in the smoke, Glaive, he'll only punish one, but it's just Aerial will find, and it's done! They had one goal, that's it, that's all they wanted, back to back, and they've done it now! No segundo Major de 2019, a mesma coisa. Astralis caiu na final contra a Vanguard, que foi bem no Major, mas assim, era um time muito inferior. Com todo respeito a Vanguard, chegou ali na final com um pouco de cagada. E Astralis consegue ali mais um Major pra conta e se torna a maior campeã de todos os Majors. Quatro títulos. 
but Astralis again, simplifying these tactics. Pop Flash comes in, Kicker dodges it. Here's the turn. Oh, what a win from Blade. Sanji's here to try and pick up the pieces, but even he's backing away from the fight. Into CT spawn. Jame is all alone, and he doesn't know where to look, doesn't know what to pay attention. A missed shot, and he's gone. And Astralis delivering the final uppercut to knock out Avangar. You can't miss anything if you want to even have a chance here. Sanji rushing up through upper. Dr. Pru is ready to take him down. And now there's no more retake from that side. It's Buster and Adren. Two buses, four. An impossible retake by any standard device. will take down Buster, leaving Adren in a one versus four. And ladies and gentlemen, Como eu disse, 2020 não tivemos Major, em 2021 apenas um no final do ano, Stockholm 2021, e aí o time da Navi, desde o início do Major, era a grande favorita. Simple e Electronic, um dos jogadores mais antigos daquela equipe, agora com novos jogadores, Bumba, Perfecto, Beat, os caras já estavam ganhando praticamente tudo, chegaram no Major como favoritos, na final contra a equipe da G2, que também estava muito bem, G2, né, agora com o Nico, o mesmo Nico que era da Face na final de 2018, a Navi foi lá, sagrou-se campeã, o, mano, o Simple, gente, desses últimos três anos, é, tem sido uma mistura de Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo e Neymar só aqui no CS. É o Simple e o Simple. Não há ninguém que jogue tão bem quanto ele. Nico has already found a frag on this low HP. He need another though. Bit. 10 seconds to the plan. That's oh no! That's It's falling up. apart! That's gonna It's be it! It's only Nico, there's no time! He just has to watch that clock tick down! This is it! Navi! I'm taking the major! Foi o último Major E vamos torcer Não sei esse ano Mas quem sabe Um Major de um futuro próximo aí Temos a vitória de um time brasileiro Amém que isso vai acontecer Tamo junto, guys Espero que vocês tenham gostado desse vídeo Se inscreva no canal Deixa o like É importante pra mim Tamo junto, ó Lembrando, dois vídeos novos Todos os dias Eu, Rian, vou ficando por aqui Até o um próximo vídeo do canal Partiu 1337 Falou